Hello everybody, uh, welcome to our uh, next video and I hope you are enjoying uh, the recent uh, videos that I have uploaded. So uh, let's come to the topic for today. I think in this topic what I am going to discuss is how to tune the mobility thresholds for a better performance in NR and LD. And one thing which is very good about the mobility thresholds is that first, once, uh, firstly they are 3 GPB standardized and secondly uh, they are uh, you, you can say quite you can say similar across uh, different vendors so if you look at the drive test data you can get these mobility uh, thresholds and if you also trying to tune it these are pretty much similar across the board if you look at one of the vendors today uh, i have written here nr and LD because as you move uh, into the different nr networks across the world now the nr networks are also getting uh, quite ubiquitous in their coverage so we have mobility scenarios for NR also similar to LTE, but the concepts are quite similar. So A3, A5, uh, B1, well, but I, today I will focus on A3 and A5. So these are the two type of handovers. So I will try to focus on that where it's better to use A3 and where it is probably better to use A5. And this is the debate. Because we have seen in my career, I've seen, I've used multiple strategies and I've seen multiple uh, type of results. So let's focus on two type of things. For example, we have dense coverage. Then we have low coverage. So in the first part, like if you define A3, in A3 handover, what we do is that we see a delta difference for example we have a source cell where we are receiving neg 115 and we have a target cell which has a delta difference of 3 dbs 5 dbs 6 dbs for example we can set the a3 thresholds as 3 dbs then with a3 handover what will happen is that if the target cell is 3 db better there will be a handover triggered on it of course uh, based on the time you have to wait and of course, uh, hysteresis does sometimes apply. But the concept, the main concept is that only this difference will be considered for the decision. For A5, we have two thresholds. One, two. The first one is for the source. The third one is for the target. So in A5, we will look at the source. That, for example, now our source is worse than this particular threshold but we also have to look at the target the target has to be better than this threshold so you can see the focus here is that here the only thing is you see a difference in dbs you hand over here you see that you are worse but what about your target is your target good enough then you hand over so now if you consider about dense coverage so in dense areas what will happen is that we will have multiple sites And there will be a lot of, you can say, multi-server involvement. There will be signals from all over the place. And in that case, if we put a thresh one and thresh two, so for example, we have a threshold one and threshold two, what will happen is that we will check our source and we will check our target as well. So what will happen? Either the handover is delayed or it's not delayed. For example, we talk about A3. In case of A3, if we are on neg 115, and if we see something at neg 112, we are going to jump to it. But for example, our A5 threshold is neg 115. So for example, for A5, we have set the threshold 1 as neg 115. But in case, what will happen is, before neg 115, there will be no handover. So that is one scenario. So in this dense areas, if you put A5 with a very low threshold, what will happen is that your UE will stay on that cell and they will be called ragging. So A5 with a very low threshold one in dense areas is probably not a good idea because you will have called ragging because you will probably have a better signal from this site here than this. So in case of A5, you will keep dragging the call unless this coverage degrades and you will hand over somewhere here 
but if you hand over somewhere here your interference might be uh, quite high so one strategy if you want to use a5 in uh, denser areas is that you probably keep this threshold a bit higher so that you start searching uh, earlier but in, in any case uh, there will be a point where you will have to set that threshold you can always set it at always on and if you set it at always on for example you set it to next 50 or next 60 then you will have to set the target to as well so in that case what will happen is that if your handover is on the a5 then your target needs to be better somehow to a certain level and in that case also you might end up uh, dragging the call on so i think in case of denser environment it's better probably to go with uh, A3 that you keep on handing over to the better cell for a certain degree so that your interference is managed. So that's that's uh, that, that's a very important thing. A5 can be important if you want to have some, you can say, interfic uh, handovers and you want to have some layering strategies uh, set up. In that case, your A5 handovers will be very important. Let's go to the case of low coverage area. We have a very low coverage area, and in this case, what will happen if I'm looking for a 3 dB difference? Before 3 dB difference, I will not hand over. So, what will happen is we have A2 thresholds as well for critical, uh, for critical, critical coverage thresholds. Let's not talk about that because that will, in any case, be in critical coverage. But if we look for the 3 dB difference, what will happen in low coverage areas is that we might not reach that point. So, and in low coverage areas, we might get a fade and we might not recover. So, it's better in this in this scenario that if we have a low coverage area, we put uh, uh, an A1 and if we have a target, we hand over to that target as an early handover rather than getting into a uh, critical domain. This could be one strategy. On the other side, uh, sometimes your A3 can also help because if you uh, try to target, uh, you move to the target and then in low coverage areas, uh, coverage degrades pretty quickly. So you might hand over back. But this, you can look at the particular scenario in your case and then look at what is the best uh, strategy for it. In the next uh, video, I think probably I will discuss how to set A2 because when you're setting A3, A5 and A2, it also becomes important that how you set up the critical coverage threshold. So let's uh, wait for the next video to discuss that. In case you have any ideas, please uh, let me know. Please subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for all the support. See you next time.